400 miles southeast of Sydney, in the middle of nowhere, burns a spark of invention. In this lonely corner of the outback, creating clean energy is one man's dream. That dream became a passion. And from a passion, it's become an almost unhealthy obsession. Roger Davey is obsessed with an overlooked source of power, the sun. Here they see so much of it, they've given the area a name. Roger Davey will build a solar plant on the scale never seen before. It is spectacular. The top of the tower would be right at about our eyesight as we're, we're situated right now. And about 65 metres across, or what's that, about 190 feet in diameter. He calls it the Solar Power Tower. It will be the world's biggest solar power plant and one of the tallest objects ever built. It will rise 400 feet taller than Taipei 101, the world's tallest building. Around the base, a sheet of glass six times the size of New York's Central Park. It's a vast area, even from up here, isn't it? And the tower in the center, 600 meters tall. It really is a sight. Unlike traditional solar plants, Rogers Tower is powered by the same principle that keeps this balloon aloft. Rising hot air. The sun's rays beat down on the glass and heat the air trapped underneath. Hot air rises. So the air runs towards the centre where the tower is situated. And just like a cold day when you light a fire, the smoke goes whoosh up the chimney, runs through turbines, the turbines spin through the generators, generating electricity. Which I think is almost the holy grail of renewable energy. The energy feeds into a grid station just five miles away. The tower will produce enough energy to power 100,000 homes without burning a single lump of coal. The effect on air quality? Like taking 90,000 cars off the road. It is clean, it is green, it is the way of the future. People have started to worry about the environment. They've started to worry about clean air. They've started to worry about emissions of fossil fuels. And if you can reduce those, totally or at least in part you're doing something for future generations you will slow down climate change or slow down global warming